good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Day of Toys video. Today, I'm going to be showcasing every single WWE superstar. I say every single. That'd be impossible, wouldn't it? That'd be just a gigantic, just, that'd probably be like a three-hour video if we tried to find every best head scan for every WWE superstar that Mattel's ever made. However, today, guys, we're going to go through the major superstars, okay? The ones that just popped in my head, the ones that, you know, you know, there are some left out. I can go ahead and tell you there are some left out. However, if you guys want to know a specific scan, I can put it down in the comment section below. Maybe I can pin a comment with the best head sculpt I think that is out there for the character or whatever, but there are a couple rules here. You know, sometimes you have guys from different eras, right? You have an era of a guy like The Rock, like from earlier on in his career, and then you have a current day Rock, and there are two different styles. It's two different time periods. The Rock looks completely different, so maybe one head sculpt is more accurate to the time. So if that is the case for one or few superstars, then I'm just going to go with the best head overall. So a head scan that I would say, like if I had to pick a prime Rock for, you know, like if I wanted to bring him into the pick fed, this is the head sculpt I would use just because it's the best one overall in my personal opinion. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. I know there's a lot of superstars right here, and I want to make sure we get through them all, so definitely stay tuned, and let's get going. So getting things started first, guys, we are starting off with the Dead Man, the Undertaker, and this one, we have to have two different choices. I'm going to go ahead and remove their hats here, and we're going to get into it. So for the Undertaker, guys, on the left, you have the WrestleMania 35 head sculpt, and on the right, you have the basic 71 head sculpt. Now, the only thing that is different is this is supposedly true effects and this one is not and I gotta be honest with you I personally like this one better but if you can't track down the basic 71 the Wrestlemania 35 will be just fine but you guys can just kind of tell this one just kind of has like an odd ominous kind of feel I guess it's more realistic but I, I don't know why I like this one much more it's just I guess based on personal preference whether you like the more cartoony version better or if you like the realistic version but that is it for The Undertaker. Moving on guys we have the phenomenal AJ Styles and this one's pretty freaking easy, right? It's got to be the top talents 2019 AJ Styles figure. I just think this is obvious. We've seen this with Elite 66. We saw it on the two-pack Elite AJ Styles, and I doubt they're going to be able to top this one anytime soon, but I say that about every time. It's like every time we get a new head sculpt, we say there's no way they can beat this, and then what do they do, guys? They freaking beat it. So there's AJ Styles, the Elite 66, the top talents. I do think the top talents 2019 and the Elite two-pack with Finn Balor, they did shrink the head a little bit, so this one's probably the best one. You know, if you get the Elite 66, it may be a little bit bigger than this and it may look a little bit big on the body. However, the top talents fix that problem. Moving on to Jeff Hardy, guys, we do have two different Jeff Hardys and for this one, it is the True Effects version. You have the basic 92 head sculpt on this Elite 67 and then you have the Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy. I like both of these a ton. I think they're both really, really strong head sculpts and they're practically the same. I think this one does look a little bit younger which is kind of crazy that Mattel is able to capture that youngness inside the face of Hardy but I really liked both of them. I could not decide so I went ahead and went with this and if you're wanting a painted face sculpt, I would say the entrance grates or the Elite 71. For the big dog Roman Reigns, guys, we are moving into the brand new Elite Series 68, I believe is what this one is. And while I do like this one, the new Battle Pack head sculpt, the WrestleMania 36 Battle Pack with Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre, that one's excellent. It's just like this, but it has a thicker beard. And I could also say that this version of Roman Reigns looks good too. And I think this is the Elite 56. It's more cartoony, but I think it works. And this is my heel Roman Reigns, so I think that it works better for a heel Roman Reigns and maybe one day we'll get a pissed off true effects Roman but until that day comes we are going to go with the Elite 56 and the Elite 68. Moving on to Finn Balor guys we have two different versions here we have the Top Talents 2018 and then we have the Elite 2 pack AJ Styles and Finn Balor from Ringside Collectibles. Now the thing that gets me about these is if you want a smiley face Finn or if you want a serious face Finn. I also like the NXT figures like all the basic NXT Finn Balors we used to get those are also good so I think it's just up to personal preference there's no really without a doubt winner but I guess you would say this one has the most likeness but I know that not everybody wants their Finn Balor to be smiling all the damn time you know so this is just something I'd go with and also if we're going with demon head sculpts I would probably go with one of those ultimate edition head sculpts or possibly the elite 40 elite 41 you stupid jack for triple H guys we're moving on to the game and this is again two different eras and I wanted to put them both in here because I really enjoy both this is an elite I can't remember is it a basic this is never coming on elite I know it's like a basic or a battle pack and I really enjoy this head sculpt I think it's the best one I could not tell you which battle pack I think it's with like Brock Lesnar and Triple H in it from a like 2012 2013 battle pack maybe 2014 again I can't remember but this is the Elite 60 Triple H or Elite 61 it's one of those two you look it up it'll come up I think it's Elite 60 though and I popped it on the old Daniel Bryan Triple H battle pack body and it just looks so good I love the beard and everything and we are getting a brand new Triple H with Elite 73 so that may take the cake over this one but that is uh, you know 
we haven't seen that one just yet. And that's another thing. Daniel Bryan is not featured in this video because uh, I think the Elite 73 Daniel Bryan will be the best one. So definitely go grab that. You can pre-order at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS. But that is it for the game. As far as Adam Cole is concerned, guys, I am going with the Undisputed Era Epic Moments 3-pack hitting the camera like a stupid jackass. I like this one much more. You know, it's serious. It's whatever. I mean, if you want yours to be smiley and all that good stuff, you can grab the brand new Elite 71. But I like this one better. I just like the, you know, more focused look, more pissed off look. Kind of has that Undisputed Era vibe to it. And I just like this one a little bit more. So I went with the Undisputed Era 3-pack, but I would understand if you like the Elite 71. Shinsuke Nakamura, ladies and gentlemen, we are going with the Elite 63. This is also the head sculpt that is featured on the Ultimate Edition Shinsuke Nakamura. And this one's uncanny. I think this is one of the better Mattel head sculpts they've ever made. I like this one a lot. You get the mouth guard. The cat, the freaking likeness is captured perfectly with this Shinsuke Nakamura. And there's not even any other head sculpt that's close than the Elite 63 Shinsuke. Moving on, guys, we have the Viper Randy Orton. And this one is, again, a toss-up. I mean, it's really up to personal preference. You got two different looks here. This is the brand new Elite 67. Not really brand new, but I guess it's brand new. And then you have this basic, is it basic 71 or 74 head sculpt on an Elite? And I like this one a ton. I've been using it in the pick fed for so long. I actually like this one better than this one as far as likeness is concerned. I just like the shaved head look with the beard and everything. I mean, this one isn't bad, and I can see why you would like this. But for me, this one captures it better. And the WrestleMania 34 Elite Randy Orton, that was practically this head sculpt, but True Effects was absolutely atrocious. So I would say this one is much better, but I would understand if you like this one as well. Next up, guys, we have Seth Rollins. And this one, this one's kind of a toss-up, okay? It, 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 I really wanted to include both of them. I wanted to include the Elite 37 in this one, and that's the pissed-off face. But I went with the Top Talents 2018 and the uh, Elite 64 head sculpt here because it's just, I mean, it looks just like Seth Rollins. The only gripe would be that it's smiling, but we are getting that brand-new Basic Series 102 Seth Rollins that I think looks amazing, and I'm really excited for that head sculpt. And I think that one's going to be the best one we've ever seen. So I would say that you could pre-order that one or pick up this one if you're looking for the best Seth Rollins. And if you're looking for a younger heel Seth Rollins, go grab the Elite 37 because I love that one a ton. And I honestly say all three of those are pretty even until we see that brand new one in person to compare it. And uh, this one's really good as well. Moving on to John Cena, my boy Juan Cena, guys. We have, uh, it's kind of crazy because this is the Elite 17 head sculpt, I think, or the Elite 23. I can't remember. I always get them confused. But we have two different head sculpts here and these are actually really old. These are old AF head sculpts. This is the Elite 3 John Cena and we're about to be on Elite 73. 70 series apart almost between the time we're getting Elite 73 and this John Cena head sculpt here. So for some reason I just love this head sculpt for a baby face John Cena. Actually you know what? What am I talking about? That new WrestleMania. G give me a second. I think I like this one a little bit more. Is it the WrestleMania 34 head sculpt with the from the WrestleMania 23 where he fought Shawn Michaels? I think I like this one better than this one, just slightly better. It's basically the same, but I think it's painted just a little bit differently. So I think I'd go with this one. It's the WrestleMania 34 Elite. And then for this, this is the Elite 3 John Cena. And we also saw it on mini battle packs and stuff. Again, I like this pissed off grin because, you know, John Cena, I don't want him always smiling. I kind of like it when he gets a little rough and tough and, you know, gets a little pissed off there. So I definitely like both of these. It's just up to personal preference whether you want him pissed off or smiling. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we have Tommaso Ciampa, and he only has one really option because that DIY Hall of Champions Target exclusive looked terrible. This one's definitely the one you want to go. This is the Elite 69 Tommaso Ciampa. Definitely much better than anything else he's got. Moving on, guys, we do have the Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler, and I like this one overall. I do think that he has some head sculpts that are decent, like, you know, the one that we got with the Elite 48, the ponytail head sculpt. Those are pretty much equal to me. And then we have, like, I think it's the Elite... Ah, oh, God, I can't remember. I think it's a basic or something. It looks pretty solid as well, and I think you could pass for like a younger Ziggler, like when he was rocking the biker shorts and stuff like that, but I think the Elite 70 is the best, and I, I like it a lot, so I went ahead and went with this one. And it's just a neutral face. It's got the true effects, and I think that it's the best one. Moving on, guys. We're going on to Edge here, and I think Edge looks the best like this. It's pissed off. He looks good. I've always liked this. I know a lot of people actually don't like this head sculpt, but I think it has the most resemblance to Edge, and he's pissed off. I don't want my Edge smiling, so I wanted him to be pissed off 
himself. So I went with this heel edge. He looks pissed. He looks good. And I like the likeness to edge a lot. And I honestly could not tell you where you get this because I don't think it's ever featured on an elite edge that we've ever gotten. So you'd have to find one of those basic series. Um, I can't remember the basic series, but this is definitely the best one. For Brock Lesnar, guys, I went with the screaming head sculpt. And again, I do not know what figure this came on. I do not know which elite this is. And I, it definitely sucks because I really do enjoy this head sculpt. But they've never made like a regular, you know how we have like the chilling faces on a lot of figures like, like the Randy Orton. He's just kind of mug. He's just got like a, a grim face on him. We've never gotten a really good Brock Lesnar like that. So hopefully one day we'll get one like that. Maybe with the Ultimate Edition or one of those basic series coming up. Hopefully that's the case. But for now, I like this one the most. For Pete Dunne, guys, I mean, it's obvious. It's the only Pete Dunne we've gotten so far. We are getting a new Pete Dunne very, very soon. But for now, I am going with this Pete Dunne, which is the Elite 64 because it's the only one we got. And the likeness to Pete Dunne is uncanny. Moving on, guys, we do have the Elite 64 Samoa Joe. And this one, again, it just it miles and miles ahead of his other two head sculpts, the GameStop exclusive or whatever. Or is that the same head sculpt? Maybe it's the Elite 43 and then it's the one, it's the basic series, whichever one. Maybe it's the Elite 56 head sculpt. I can't remember. But the Elite 64 is head and shoulders above all of those. For Matt Hardy, guys, this one was kind of difficult for me because I like both of these a lot. Uh, you have the Epic Moments head sculpt, which is like the yes head sculpt, and then you have like the, kind of like the delete head sculpt, I guess, or it's just doing that weird smile that he does, but I like these both, and we've actually, I think, gotten both of these in true effects form, but I kind of like these versions better. I might have, you know, a battle pack somewhere laying around with this head sculpt in true effects, but I like both of these a lot, and uh, Matt Hardy just looks good, man. You, can, you can't go wrong with either one. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Elite 71 Drew McIntyre, and this one's pretty obvious because you have two different head sculpts that come with the figure. So if you buy the figure, you get, you know, the hair in the face and you get the hair not in the face and both of them are really strong and they're the best Drew McIntyre to date. I mean, they both have true effects. They both look strong and you can't go with wrong with both and you get both in the figure. So definitely get that for Drew McIntyre. Moving forward, guys, we have Braun Strowman and Braun Strowman is the brand new, I guess, Elite 68 Braun Strowman and then the Top Talents 2019 Braun Strowman. Same exact figure, same exact head sculpt and I hate that he's, you know, smiling. I wish it would just be sort of like a pissed off, chilling face, you know, kind of like he's fighting with Tyson Fury. But for now, this this works, and it's definitely the best Braun head sculpt. It looks just like him, and so I went with this one. Moving on, guys, we have the Elite 65 Rusev, and I did have to, hit, like, repaint my, my eyes on my Rusev, but I don't think mine was as bad as other people's. But I do like this Rusev head sculpt. Again, I had to repaint the eyes, but I think it's definitely the better Rusev head sculpt, and it's accurate. It's got the long beard on there, and he just looks better overall, so I would go with the Elite 65 Rusev. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Miz and the Miz's is his most recent figure. It's the Elite 69. If you didn't choose the Elite 69, I would go with the Elite 37, I think, Miz in the white attire. I really like that. It's like the smiling head sculpt. Really enjoy that Miz fix up. That Miz figure, I should say, but the Elite 69 looks really good too. It's got the nice facial hair and the true effects and the brown hair color. You can't go wrong with the Elite 69 Miz. Next up, guys, we have Sami Zayn, and for Sami Zayn, I went with the Elite 63. I, I think the Elite 40 is pretty strong. I think that if you want a heel look, I think his TNF Elite is is really good as well, but as far as the best resemblance and the best looking Sami Zayn head sculpt, I would probably go with the brand new, the brand new, again Brad this this figure's a year old, the Elite 63 Sami Zayn. Next up guys, we have the Usos, and I kind of hate it because these are not the best, I don't think or at least one of these is not the best, I think it's Jimmy that's not the best, but these are the, these are the Elite 64 Usos and there is a battle pack out there where they're in their black and white attire and I think those are the better head sculpts, however uh, these are all I have right now, I never got them or anything like that, so I'll have to pick those up down the line, but for now, these are the best that I have, and I think that these are the best, so I went with the Elite 64, even though that Battle Pack Jimmy is probably a little bit better than this one. Moving on, guys, we have Andrade, and this is the Ringside Exclusive slash NXT Andrade, and I don't know if this has come out just yet. I think it's still for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles. You can pre-order it using MD Toys as your promo code at WrestlingFigures.com, but this one's definitely better than his NXT Basics, so you definitely want to grab this, and who knows when the hell we'll get an actual Elite Elite Andrade in the main wave. Almost vomited. But this is a really strong head sculpt. The true effects is there, and it's just it's just nice. Moving on, guys, we have Shawn Michaels and Shawn Michaels. I went with the Defining Moments, I think. I think it's the Defining Moments. They did make this head sculpt for the Elite 3 Shawn Michaels, but it looked terrible. It looked like he, he was, like, sick and fading away, but this one looks much, much better. It's got the 5 o'clock shadow. I also like the WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 14 Shawn Michaels that we action figure surgery yesterday. So if you guys missed that, that's also a really good head sculpt that you can go check out 
out from yesterday's video, but I really like this Shawn Michaels as well. Next up, guys, we have Bray Wyatt, and I think it's pretty easy that this is the best head sculpt. It has the tr it doesn't have true effects, but it does have a lot better looking head sculpt. It's the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt, and until we get a Fiend or a new basic that tops this, this one is holding the cake for now, and it does have that creepy smile going on. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have my boy Kevin Owens, and this one's pretty easy. It is the Elite 66 Kevin Owens. Again, this is like what I like to call the chilling face, and this one's just nice. It looks just like Kevin Owens. Would I prefer a thicker beard? Yes, I would, but I still like it a lot. I did touch up the beard and fill in some gaps, but this one's definitely the best Kevin Owens head sculpt to date. It is the Elite 66. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of figures that are just one because it's, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty easy to narrow down. This is the Elite 47 head sculpt for Cesaro, I think. I don't think this is the Elite 68. Maybe it is the Elite 68. No, not the Elite 68. The Elite 58. This is the Elite 58 head sculpt, and I think I like it the best. It's also more proportioned to the body, and I think I like this one more than the Elite 23, but both of them are pretty good. For Elias, guys, it's pretty simple. It is the Entrance Greats Elias figure, and this one's great because the Elite 60 didn't have true effects. This one does have true effects. I think that... I think the Elite 60 didn't have true effects. I can't remember, but this one does, and it looks better than the Elite 60. For Aleister Black, guys, he only has one figure for now until we get the Elite 73 Aleister Black, so you have to go with the NXT Target Exclusive Elite, and that's that's about it, man, because it's all you can get. Next up, guys, we only have one Apollo head sculpt, and it is the best one. It is the Elite 49 head sculpt, and it looks just like Apollo. No true effects needed for this one. I think they did a great job on it, and it is Apollo. Moving up, guys, we do have Eric and Rowan. Eric and Rowan. Next up, guys, we have Harper and Rowan, and it is the Bludgeon Brother head sculpts from the Elite 60... I can't freaking remember, man. Or is it Elite 50? I, I, I literally cannot remember. Is it Elite 62, Harper and Rowan? The Bludgeon Brothers? I literally, I don't know why my mind's so blank. But anyways, these are definitely the best head sculpts of Harper and Rowan, and you can see there, it's just... Uh, it just freaking beautiful, man. They nailed these. Coming into the last four, guys, we do have Johnny Gargano. This is the Elite 70. Much better than his Target exclusive NXT figure. This looks so much better. It's just freaking fantastic, and I don't know how they can top this one. And moving into our last three, guys, we have Kofi Kingston. This is the Elite 60 Kofi Kingston. I did add the blonde streak to the hair, but even without the blonde streak, it's definitely the better head sculpt, even though he's missing some patches in the beard. Have yet to fill that in. We have the a brand new Elite 69 Bobby Lashley, and this is the only Bobby Lashley figure we have to date so that you know you can't really do anything about it until we get a new one but I think this is the best one because it's the only one and then finally guys we're finishing it off with Elite 69 Ricochet and again this is the only Ricochet we've gotten to this date and so we had to go with the Elite 69 and it's just a beautiful wonderful figure I think we went through everything man I literally have so many stacks that look at this big stack of figures that I mean I guess you saw it at the beginning but now we're at the end and we went through all of those figures guys I Again, I did leave out some people. I think Stone Cold Steve Austin's left out. I think the best head sculpt for him is the ringside exclusive that's smiling. If you don't want a smiling one, every other figure he's ever had, I mean, pretty much has a pissed off face. So maybe the basic 100 series for him. Shawn Michaels, probably the basic 100 series again. I know he was featured in this video, but I didn't have that figure. The basic 100 rock is pretty good as well. The Elite 16 rock is also a pretty strong head sculpt. So it's kind of just up to personal preference, guys, but I tried to do my best and give you guys my own personal thoughts and opinion on every best head sculpt for every WWE superstar out there, at least the ones that are the main focus right now. And so that is it for my list. For Kane, I would probably say the Elite Four. If it's got that goofy smiling face, then it's one of those old basic or battle pack figures that's got the pissed off bald Kane head sculpt. For Batista, I'd probably say the brand new Elite 72 that's coming soon. I probably need to do this for the women's figures as well, but a lot of those don't have a lot of different options, so it's kind of difficult to pinpoint one. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below your favorite head sculpt from the video, or what's your favorite head sculpt of all time. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, comment down below my damn head scan, and I will give you an automatic heart on the video. I appreciate you guys that watched the videos all the way from the start to the finish. You guys are truly the absolute best. Thank you guys so very much. Mini epic videos coming this week. Cannot wait to get into it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.